Hans Krohn spends a lot of time in his cockpit. A few times a month, he climbs in and fires it up. Then, he enjoys bird's eye views of almost anywhere in the world. It's a pretty neat trick for a home-built contraption. Krohn's cockpit never leaves his basement. So I started with something very simple. It was just a joystick and a throttle on my desk. And uh, then I added a second screen. Then I added uh, a wooden cockpit structure. And I added more screens for outside views. And slowly, slowly, it turned into a full-fledged cockpit, uh, which mimics the avionics of a 737. Krohn is at the extreme end of an increasingly popular hobby, flying imaginary aircraft. Programs for home computers, like Microsoft's Flight Simulator, have millions of fans around the world. But Krohn, like many enthusiasts, wanted more. It didn't take me long to, to recognize that there was such a big difference between flying for real and flying with a flimsy little screen in front of you. And I decided to, to change that and I started to add stuff to, to, to make the flying experience on the computer a bit more uh, realistic. Instead of being an exact replica of a real plane, this cockpit is more of a hybrid. The dials and screens are modeled on a Boeing 737. The joystick resembles controls on an Airbus plane. And the housing isn't even from a passenger jet. It was built for a simulated F-16 fighter plane. It's taken him more than 15 years to build this and cost him about $20,000. That's of course a blast to fly something like this because you have this big screen and it actually uh, to a large extent feels like flying a real plane. But for Crone, the real challenge is the building. The building is something which, um, which for me holds a lot of fascination because there's a million problems you come across in, in the process of building something like this. For example, the, the electric motor which drives the throttle. I, I modeled this in, uh, in the simulator. I did the, the construction on, with Coral Draw on the computer and then uh, built the pieces, put them together. And when it finally worked, when I put it into the cockpit and I connected it, I wrote the software for it, and suddenly my, my um, lever, the throttle lever, started to move. It, it was a joy to watch and it, uh, it was uh, suddenly worth all those hours I had spent um, constructing, conceiving and building it. For the Wall Street Journal, this is Dan Michaels in Obershausen, Germany. Thank <laughs> you.